So here we are outside Morling House, which is currently the headquarters for Sussex Police. Um, but the history of this house is quite interesting. A uh, rumour has it that the four knights who slew Thomas Becket in Canterbury Cathedral stayed here on their way back from the cathedral, having done the dirty deed. And uh, previously, archbishops of, of Canterbury are supposed to lay on this ground as well. But the actual house itself was rebuilt in mid-1600s. And, uh, and then Sussex Police took it over as their headquarters four years after I was born. So for those of you that want to go and find out, you can find out when that was, kind of late 60s-ish. Um, and uh, we're going to go inside today and we're going to meet with uh, temporary Chief Constable Giles York, see his office and uh, learn a little bit more about the house as well. There we go. Through the keyhole. So this is the entrance hallway to Morling House and you can see previous chief constables, chairman of the police authority on the walls, some memorabilia, pictures and a, and a lovely old oak chair here. And I don't know how old this is, but it is rather grand, isn't it? You can sit here and, uh, and muse. <laughs> You can see from the board here the list of previous Chief Constables of Sussex Police and on the bottom of the board there is um, Martin Richards who has just recently retired. So we're now going to go and meet the temporary Chief Constable, Giles York. And it's really just to let viewers know that at the moment we're in a transition period with Sussex Police while we await the appointment of a new Chief Constable. I haven't set the date for that yet but it will be soon and in the meantime Mr York stepped up to be temporary chief constable and we have Olivia Pinkney who's on secondment at the moment to HMIC. She'll be coming back to the force mid-March and she'll be taking over as temporary deputy chief constable and the rest of the senior team are all here to support both of them. So it's a really interesting time for Sussex Police at the moment, new leaders at the helm and I look forward to telling you a bit more about the appointment process in due course. Okay, we're outside Mr York's office now and uh, just going to give him a quick knock and see what he's up to. And here he is, come on in. This is like going inside the Chief Constable's crib a bit. So, morning Giles, how are you? All right? Morning, thanks, how are you? Good, very good, thank you. So, Giles, tell me, what have you been up to this morning? I've had a really busy morning already. I'm delighted to say I've had a performance update from the performance team here around how we're reducing crime and making people safer across the county. Uh, also, I've done some covert work, giving authorities for some of the secret policing stuff that we do around the county. Uh, and I've also met with the Metropolitan Police on how they're pushing forward on what they want to do with mobile and how it can coincide with what we're doing here. So showing real partnership across the south of England. So pretty full on morning, really. It's, and all that before 12 o'clock. It's quite a lot of variety I'm impressed. As well, yes. and, and, and tell viewers, what have you had for breakfast today? <laughs> tell them. You've done all this on. About a, a bit of orange juice would probably be about A it. bit of orange and juice. Several cups of tea, I think. I actually to managed it. to get some porridge in me this morning, so I feel quite good at the and moment. One other thing I did was I caught some people on the lawn in front of the house. Really? Which was three scouts who have done their community badge in Lewis. Oh, phew. Uh, and they're the first scouts in Sussex to be awarded their community badge. Fantastic. So I went and joined them to wish them well and Great. congratulate them on getting their card as well. And then this afternoon it's full on because we've got our monthly accountability meeting. Accountability meeting. Yeah. We've been joined by Chief Superintendent Nev Kemp. Yes. Who I've met Just seen him outside. Well. Uh, and uh, looking forward to that, should I say that out loud? Yes. Uh, and uh, he'll be updating on some of the great stuff they're doing in Brighton at the moment. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to it immensely. So that gives viewers a bit of an insight into your morning and what Absolutely. you can achieve on Orange Juice. Just imagine what we could do if we pushed the boat out and gave you toast as well. Um, and it gives you a quick view of inside the office here. So uh, I think we're going to leave the viewers there. Before we leave Morling House, I just wanted to update you on the news so far about my youth commission. They had their first meeting last month, 28 young people taken from across Sussex, a really dynamic and diverse group. I'm really excited to be working with them. They managed to identify their sort of priority areas that they want to focus on, 
drugs, uh, preventing reoffending, cybercrime, and so on. And what they're going to do next is meet next month on the 1st of March and continue their work to help inform my police and crime plan. And this will be working then towards something called the big conversation. So each one of them will be going back to their colleges, to their places of work, to their schools, and having a big conversation with their friends and with their colleagues around issues that affect young people in policing. And the aim is to speak to at least 2,000 young people across Sussex in the next six months. I have lots of hope, having met the group, they are really switched on, very clued up, they know exactly what they want to talk about, and um, I'm really looking forward to working with them. And I'll bring you some more news, hopefully, next time you tune in. So, leaving Morling House, that's the posh bit, the rest of it isn't quite as nice as here, but a really important part of Sussex Police, because this is the headquarters. And just to sign off and to let people know that um, it's the last few days left to apply to my Safer in Sussex Community Fund. So if you are a community or an organisation in Sussex and you're helping to drive down crime and keep your community safe, please apply to the fund. You can apply for up to £5,000. The closing date for the applications on this round is the end of this month, but there will be another round after that. So please do apply. Look forward to hearing from you. And thank you for joining me this month. I hope you found it interesting. See you next time.